If you are watching this video, that means you also have Wi-Fi problem in your Kali Linux or any kind of Linux machine. So today in this video, we are going to fix that problem permanently. So watch this video till the end. Hello everyone, I'm Ani Ben Roy, an ethical hacker and a cyber security expert. So guys, let's get started. Now there are many videos available on YouTube which says Wi-Fi solution or Wi-Fi not working for Linux or Kali Linux or anything. And in that video they show installation of something which is called Compact Wireless. And after installing that it shows you Wi-Fi symbols, WLAN uh, interface and all chipsets and everything. But ultimately that don't scan Wi-Fi near you. And why that happens? You need to understand this that that is just a software guys that's not any physical hardware it's just a software so it will not do anything now Kali Linux or any kind of Linux machine don't support any random Wi-Fi adapters it support only few kind of adapters which have a specific kind of chipsets and if you want to do hacking like wireless hacking Wi-Fi hacking or anything then you need those kind of adapters and making those Wi-Fi chipset adapters are quite costly so your inbuilt Wi-Fi adapters of your laptop will not work with Linux and if you want to start hacking Wi-Fi hacking or anything then you need a Wi-Fi adapter which supports monitor mode, packet ingestion and AP mode. These three things are must. So I use this Wi-Fi adapter which is from uh, TP-Link and I also have this Wi-Fi adapter over here and uh, this too supports monitor mode and packet injection and I also use one Wi-Fi adapters from Alpha which right now I don't have it uh, with me because one of my friends borrowed it from me a few days back. Once you have this kind of adapters then you can connect with your Linux machine and access the Wi-Fi. So let's get into your computer and see how we can connect this Wi-Fi adapters with our Linux. So this is one of my Kali Linux virtual machine and I'm running this on our virtual box. Okay. So first let me come here and if you see here, if I click over here, you can see it's a uh, wired connection. That means uh, it don't have any Wi-Fi. So still, let me show you from here. Let me open the terminal. Okay. So if I type ifconfig and if you see it only has Ethernet 0 and uh, hello. So we don't have any uh, Wi-Fi. If I type IW config, then still you can see we only have this two. We don't have any Wi Fi connections right now. So now I'm gonna plug in this Wi Fi adapter over here. So I'm just plugging it in. Okay, I just plugged in. Let's wait for it. Okay, after plugging it in, go to uh, devices. If you are using VirtualBox, go to devices and go to USB. And over here, it will show you all the USBs you have. And if you see, this is uh, my Wi Fi adapter. Okay, uh, so if I again remove it, unplug it, this time again, if I go to devices, and this time if you see, I don't have that option over here so still again i'm gonna reconnect it so you can hear a sound i guess so again i'm going to usb and again i got the option so this is my wi-fi adapter so once i click on it it's gonna connect my wi-fi adapter with this virtual machine so now this time if i click over here okay it's still connecting with it Okay, now if you see, we got the Wi-Fi network and everything. Now, now it's gonna scan for Wi-Fi. If you see, it's detecting Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi I got, and this is I don't know whose Wi-Fi it is. So, it's now detecting the Wi-Fi. Okay. Again, if I type iwconfig, this time you see we got a uh, uh, WLAN zero over here. Uh, a Wi-Fi interface and if I type again IW config, you'll be able to see all the details of this WLAN 0 that uh, what is the access point which mode it is it is in manage mode so so this is how we can do it it's pretty simple now if you're using VMware let me start my VMware machine from here
So this is my virtual machine of VMware. Now uh, this one and this the uh, this is the virtual box one. So now this thing has the Wi-Fi uh, interface, but over here I don't have Wi-Fi interface. Again, if I show you IF config IW config, it don't have any Wi-Fi interface. So what you need to do, you need to come to this VM and uh, go to removable devices over here and uh, over here you will be able to see all the uh, wife uh, all the usb adapters or usb interface like uh, my webcam and everything is showing over here so this is rolling uh, now this is actually using with virtual box so that is why it's showing virtual box over here so if i connect it connect it and disconnect from host and it's gonna pop up okay I hit OK. Then the my Wi-Fi adapter will be disconnected from those devices and will be connected with this one. So now if I click over here, if you see, I got the Wi-Fi interface over here and it's scanning the Wi-Fi again. Okay. So this is how we can fix the Wi-Fi problem in Kali Linux or any kind of Linux. Now the big question is how you will identify those adapters which support with uh, Kali Linux or Linux. So I provided the link in the description and over there, whatever the Wi-Fi adapters you will see that will fulfill all the requirements, whatever I said from uh, monitor mode, packet injection, AP mode and uh, also support with Kali Linux. So buy it from there if you need it. Now don't close the video guys, one second, don't close the video. Now there is one thing I want to tell you is that there is one another way to use Wi-Fi in your Linux and that will also use your internal Wi-Fi interface only. You don't need to buy this kind of adapters, but there is also a disadvantage to it. So you can do this by using a live OS. So you need to boot your computer or PC or your laptop with your live USB. And during that time, uh, your Kali Linux or your Linux machine will use the internal Wi-Fi interface. But the problem is you can only use that for the Wi-Fi connection only like to just to access internet. You cannot do any kind of hacking, Wi-Fi hacking or any kind of stuff. And by the way, if you want to learn Wi-Fi hacking, then check out my Wi-Fi hacking playlist over here. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe for more videos like this.